Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Name here is Robert. Today, we're gonna to be getting the multimeter and we're gonna be doing uh, some continuity checks on a single pole switch and a three-way switch. So, stay tuned guys, let's jump into this. Okay guys, so we're gonna be checking this three-way switch. I went ahead and set the meter on continuity. Uh, it might be hard for you guys to see that from there, I don't know, but what we're gonna do is on a three-way switch and I'll get some video so you guys can see it. Inside of this one here, on this side, you have a black screw, which is the, which is called the common. And you have the other gold screw on this side. And on this side, you have another gold, another gold screw. And then down here at the bottom, you have the grounding screw. So with the switch down, you notice we're OL. So if we go between these two here, we read OL, which is open line. And if I go from the common to the top screw, then we read 0 0.2 ohms. So that tells me that with the switch down, this contact from here to here is closed. Whereas with the switch, we flip the switch up, this one opens, and then it switches to this side. Opens, closed. So it tells me that this switch is good. So that's how the three-way switch works. Let's jump on over here and let's check another, take a look at this single pole light switch right here. Okay guys, so here's the single pole. It's pretty much the same setup except for we just have two silver, two gold screws on this side and a grounding screw on this side. So you don't have the extra terminal up here because this is just a single pole switch. So also to note with these is where this is a single pole, this one has off and on, and then the three-way does it. So either which way, up or down, it doesn't have on or off because it could be on on down position or it could be on up position, depends. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're on the continuity, we're checking continuity on our meter here. We're gonna go from gold to gold. Nothing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're gonna flip the switch up. And we got continuity, 0 0.1 ohms. So that tells me that that single post switch is good. If you were to not read anything between the two silver or two gold screws by flipping the switch, then you've got a bad switch. So that's, uh, that's the basics on how to check those. I don't have a four-way switch. I was really wanting to show you guys the difference in the single pole, the three-way and the four-way. But if I do get a four-way, I'll be sure to throw a video out there on that. All right, guys, so that's basically going to do it for this video of how the single post switch and the three-way switch works and how to check them with the continuity, continuity check on the multimeter. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video or you got something out of this, please subscribe, please like, drop a comment below, guys. Uh, maybe I missed something. I'm always willing to learn. Uh, I learn this, I learn too. So, uh, guys, I uh, appreciate you. And, uh, We'll catch you on the next video.